Are you looking to get Ham Radio Deluxe to play nice with SDR Uno or any other OmniRig integrated application for that matter? Did you end up on this web page? If you have, you're going to want to stick around. I got a better way. Hey there YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm Barry, KK7JXG, and today I want to share a little bit of my configuration for Ham Radio Deluxe and SDR Uno and other OmniRig applications. Before we get into it, I'll give you a little context from where I'm coming from. I've had my Ham Radio license for a couple months now, but when I first got it, uh, I was really looking to dip my toes into the hobby and not get too crazy. So I ended up buying a secondhand FT991 uh, by Yesu. Beautiful radio. Um, and I've been really happy with it. It's a, it's a shack in the box. So everything from 70 centimeters all the way up to, you know, 160 meters, HF, VHF, UHF. Fun rig. But being that it's made for portable use, uh, there's not a lot of buttons, not a lot of knobs. Uh, there's a lot of things hidden deep in the menu. And so that led me to um, an application called Win for Yesu that let me do things through my computer to control the, the rig. And it was great uh, and, and worked well. Uh, next application that came along um, was uh, SDR Uno. I got an SDR Play and used that as a pan adapter because the 991 is a 10 year old radio. And while it has a band scope, it's not live, uh, and you have to scan, so it's not very useful. And SDR Uno really presents a beautiful waterfall, and I can really geek on that that kind of thing. Uh, so that's been really great. Uh, the next application is O'Gratton. I got really into POTA as I got into single sideband, and POTA's been fun. It's been able. It's it's a little bit like hunting. I am a hunter. I've done some activations. But O'Gratton or O'Gratton is an application that uh, really elevates or streamlines the, the hunting process. I got another video you can check out on that if you want. Uh, and then finally, of course, uh, WSJTX. Uh, everybody's dip into ham radio. I think it's got to be, FT8, it's got to be one of the most popular uh, modes of operation on ham radio today. And so, of course, I had that uh, in the Shack computer as well. Under Win for Yesu, I got all these things to, to work together. However, uh, just recently, I, I've seen a lot of uh, marketing and motion, and I start decided to go towards uh, Ham Radio Deluxe. They've been really pushing more development. It seems to be um, actively developed, and they're promising a lot of things coming in the next year. I like their licensing scheme. Uh, not that Win for Yesu was was bad or anything, uh, I did want to check out uh, Ham Radio Deluxe, um, primarily because there was a uh, mention of a server uh, application or portion of Ham Radio Deluxe that'll let you do remote operation, and that made me look into it. Now that I got it, hmm, it's not uh, it's not all that it promises, but uh, maybe it'll get there. But that's that's a topic for another another video. So now with Ham Radio Deluxe, I'm at a little bit of a loss because Ham Radio Deluxe doesn't talk to OmniRig uh, as well as I thought it could. So I started researching that. Which brings us to this uh, slide here that was on the Ham Radio Deluxe site. Uh, it was a copy from the SDR Uno or SDR Play website. And it sort of talks about how cat control works, and it is true, right? Ham Radio Deluxe uh, connects to the COM port of your radio to control the rig. Um, and then SDR Uno uh, works with OmniRig. OmniRig is, is, a, is an older program that is meant to broadcast cat control. So it's, it's sort of the interpreter for, to, for all the applications to talk to uh, your radio over a single connection. So it's sort of like a connection sharing device. However, you can't hook them both up at the same time uh, because each application, Ham Radio Deluxe and OmniRig, both want to control the radio. 
and uh, in serial communication that simply doesn't work. All that is true. Uh, now the weird thing about it is the solution that both Hammerated Deluxe and SDR Uno um, sort of promote, or at least on that website, and it's really good instructionally. They tell you step by step, by step how to do this. Um, but the approach is use OmniRig to connect to your radio over the actual COM port. Uh, and then OmniRig uh, integrates with SDR Uno or vice versa, actually. So SDR Uno and OmniRig stay in sync with each other. And there is a option for SDR Uno to present itself as a transceiver to another cat control device. So it, it presents itself as a uh, Kenwood, a TS-480, and you implement a virtual serial port, which is basically a, a software uh, serial port or COM port, if you will. And you, you configure SDR Uno to talk to one end of that virtual port and then ham radio deluxe to connect to the other end of that virtual serial port. So the only problem with that approach is that with OmniRig connected to the radio, it only exposes a limited set of cat controls to the application, which is fine when you just want to tune frequencies, change modes, and whatnot. There's really good integration with SDR Uno and OmniRig, but the problem occurs is when you have a device or an application like Hamradio Deluxe that has uh, more enhanced cat control commands um, that uh, it's relaying to SDR Uno and SDR Uno doesn't have the understanding of what those cat controls are and and neither does OmniRig uh, so what happens is you don't get any advanced filter settings or digital noise reductions or changing transmit bandwidth all the things that are buried deep into my Yesu menu system that I want access to. So this approach sort of failed. Uh, it works if, if you just want to tune uh, the radio and whatnot, but I, I seriously don't understand why you would want to do just that with Ham Radio Deluxe um, and not want all the other capabilities to it. Because um, in that sense, you could just have SDR Uno controlling OmniRig and, and your radio and everything would be uh, doing doing fine. Uh, so what was uh, my solution to that? I got my FT991 there uh, as usual and I hooked up HDR uh, directly to the 991, so it has direct control of the radio through the actual COM port. Now, just like Win for Yesu, uh, Hamrita Deluxe has a uh, COM port server. I think on uh, Win for Yesu, it's called a uh, serial port sharing device, or I think it can it can create uh, four virtual COM ports. Um, out of the device and it'll it'll present itself just like a, a Yesu um, to any other applications. What's strange is the reason it took a while for me to find this is that uh, Hamriota Deluxe has great um, documentation and whatnot but they don't really promote a lot of these other features. There's a lot of features in that application and in fact I listened to the owner of Ham Radio Deluxe uh, give a big talk on serial port and COM ports and and um, COM port uh, virtual ports and how to connect different software, but he never mentions the COM port server, uh, the ability to have other devices uh, that want to take control of the radio uh, work through Ham Radio Deluxe to, to get to it. So with this setup. Uh, you again use the virtual serial port and connect to OmniRig. Now, Ham Radio Deluxe presents itself over that virtual serial port as a Kenwood system. Again, I use the uh, TS2000 uh, command set, which seems to 
do everything I want it to do. Um, and it doesn't matter that it's Kenwood going in because Ham Radio Deluxe does know how to interpret and uh, all the Kenwood commands over to the Yesu. It's got the full command set for both radios, so it acts as an interpreter. Uh, OmniRig, now of course OmniRig's made to do this. It can multicast the cat, cat controls out to all the other applications. So those all hook up just like normal to OmniRig. So WSJTX, SDR Uno, and my favorite Agraton all work uh, together there. So, you know, just in summary, Hamrita Deluxe commands the COM port with all the enhanced cat commands that, that's available to it and that it does well uh, in uh, presenting to the user through, you know, programmable sliders and macros and whatnot. It then shares access to the radio through an integrated COM port server, and that's the key. That's the key right there. And, and I, I don't know why they don't make, uh, or they don't market that aspect of the application better, but that's the key to make a lot of this work. Uh, OmniRig then connects via that virtual COM port, uh, and uh, H HRD interprets that, like I said, and all the other applications. Um, talk to OmniRig just as they're designed to do. Um, and the bottom line is everyone's happy. It all connects together. I get my cat control. I get my filter selection. I use SDR Uno for my beautiful uh, waterfall. And everything is right in the world. So there you have it. This is the way I found to uh, integrate OmniRig with Ham Radio Deluxe without any loss of functionality of any of the applications that I, I want to use. So uh, I think it's a, a better approach than what uh, is promoted on their web, web page. If you can think of a scenario, I, I tried thinking of why I would hook it up one way versus the other. Uh, I don't see any advantages of having OmniRig be the primary and Ham Radio Deluxe with all its capability be a second, play second fiddle to that uh, interface. Uh, but if you can think of one, leave me a comment. I, I'd like to understand it. Um, but until then, that's it for me, 73. Have a good one. Get on the air.